Hey guys, DM Scotty here. Great to have you with me. Today we're going to be doing craft inspired by Hanker and Fresnel's ICRPG. It stands for Index Card RPG, and it's on Drive Through RPG. You can pick it up. Uh, great uh, short system, easy to learn, great for new people, uh, and it has a lot of fun monsters in it. And I thought it'd be fun to make. Uh, a creature from his RP, his RPG, and I decided on the Agnar. I just love this thing. It's like a giant ball with teeth, giant ball or a donut with teeth, uh, with kind of like elephant legs, and I just loved it. It's just so fun, and I wanted to craft it. So today we're going to craft uh, an, a, a giant uh, ravenous Agnar from Hanker and Fresnel's Drunkards and Dragons IC RPG. So let's hit that table and start crafting. To start this beastie, I picked up one of these styrofoam uh, balls at the craft store, and I used my sharpie on it, and kind of roughly do the mouth here. And I'm just going to use a butter knife, sharp butter knife, and uh, just kind of poke into the foam here. Just poke all around, and uh, remove the mouth here. And cool, you can just scrape out a little excess if you need to. And I didn't make too much of a mess, but uh, yeah, cool. Oh, it looks like Pac-Man. <laughs> it's painted yellow. <laughs> okay, now I got these uh, barbecue skewers, and I'm going to put some uh, paper towels on, just roll them up on here, and I've got 50% water, 50% white glue, and I'll roll it up again because I want some fat, kind of like elephant legs, right, for it. And just soak that in uh, water and glue. And I'm just going to cut that in half. And uh, the, those are two legs right there. And now I'm going to start to cover them up a little bit with some toilet paper. This kind of smooths it out a little bit. And I'm using the water and white glue. Going to kind of bend that stick there. You get a bent leg. And if you have any problem with the paper, uh, the toilet paper sticking, you can use the brush. Okay, now I'm going to put some white glue on the. Uh, the head here with the styrofoam. And I'm going to pull some paper towel around it, put some water on there. I'm just spraying some water on there and kind of sticking it to the glue. And this starts the shell over the uh, styrofoam. And I'll just start adding TP. So put it in the mouth. <laughs> and I'm just spraying it with water here. And put some more in the mouth. Just building that out. I'll start putting it around the uh, piece. I like the TB, the TP, than using the paper towels because it gives them a smoother uh, surface to work with. So I like to start with the kind of paper towel and then add some TP to it. All right, nice, looking really good. Cool. And now that that's all together, I'll just start adding my 50% water, 50% white glue. Just soak it. Just squirt it all over the surface. That'll soak right in. Nice. Okay. Now what I'm doing is I'm rolling up a paper towel, squinching it up, and I'm going for the bony head protrusions on the Agnar here. And just roll that up in some TP. And, you know, they're just kind of bizarre, crinkled shapes, is what I'm going for. This just has these bony shapes on it. Like protrusions. And once I get those assembled, I'll just use my white glue. Water and white glue. 50%. Cool. Now those are dry, I'm going to kind of reinforce these here. And what I do like to do is just squirt some glue on there and get a wet brush and spread it out over the surface. 
now that my uh, my body's done, my body and head, I guess, I'm going to start uh, filling in a bit. I'll fill in some detail in the mouth with my hot glue gun. Then I want to put a crest kind of in the center here. Let that dry for a sec. Add some more to it. You can kind of build up things like this with the hot glue gun. And I'm going to kind of pull it into the body itself. Another bead of hot glue. And just pull it in. Fun. Alright. Got a nice crest build up there. Alright, cool. Now I've got my horns here. I'm going to kind of put those on. And this is inspired by the pictures that Hank has done. And there we go. Fun stuff. I'll just start covering those horns with some uh, hot glue. Now the legs, I'm going to do the same thing, cover them with hot glue. This gives a nice texture as well as strength. Then I'm going to kind of do a kneecap here with the glue gun. And then some little toes, like maybe like elephant toes, you know, just squirt some glue on there. Kind of define those a little better if you need to. The hot, uh, the, sp the spout of the glue gun can uh, do the, uh, the nozzle of the glue gun can uh, shape even after it's dry. Okay, now I'm going to start adding teeth. And these are just uh, plastic fork tines, right? And I kind of broke them off at different lengths. Let's start adding them to the gum here. The hot glue gum that I created. They might sag a little bit. You can push them back up. Cool, looking good. I'll do a gum on top here. Kind of drag it into the body of the Agna. That helps secure these. Oh man, I love hot glue. So I did the same on the bottom. And uh, now it's really starting to take shape here. It's looking like something other than just a Pac-Man. <laughs> okay, now I got my legs here. Start adding these to the piece. Kind of get an idea where I want the legs first. I like the idea that the legs are kind of bent out in all the directions. That's kind of fun. And just hot glue those on. And I know it's looking like a hot mess now, but this thing is going to be awesome when we're done. Okay, I get it? Get what I did there? Hot mess. <laughs> okay, now I'll start... Uh, blending those legs in and awesome now what uh, I'm going to use these beads for eyes right and I've got diff different size beads I'll start to put a squirt on there Let's stick a stick a bead on and I got the different sizes going there just randomly placing these easy easy All right, neat. Uh, now I need to detail this a little bit. Well, after I get the last one on there. Yeah. Okay. So I put a couple more horns on. Okay, now I'm going to go around the eyes here and build up kind of the socket of the eye. So it's not just a round circle glued on, right? Then I'm going to put the belly on this the beast. The belly of the beast. Alright. Then I'm going to add some hot glue to the body. Give it a nice texture. But I'm doing something cool here. While it's still a bit wet or a bit undried or unsolid, I'm going to drag my glue gun through it and make kind of like scales, right? So I squirt some glue gun glue out and then kind of drag my nozzle through it to make scales. And uh, it's hard to see there with the clear glue, but it's really a nice texture. Really gives it thus 
a neat uh, detail. So I'm going to drag the glue gun around the legs, just kind of like folds of skin. And here's the poop chute. <laughs> okay, I'm going to push the glue gun in there, nozzle, and make kind of the poop chute there. <laughs> the Agnaz Anus. All right. Don't be standing there, buddies. All right, now I've got some uh, pencil shavings, and this thing kind of camouflages a rock, and I thought it'd be fun to have like a bunch of moss on it, you know, because some poor adventurer is walking by, and suddenly this thing, they thought it was a mossy rock, and suddenly it comes to life. I just make this slushy with my 50% water, 50% white glue, and I'm just going to start applying it different spaces on the Agnar. So, nice. Now, one thing I didn't show with the construction was I wanted, I decided to give it a tongue, okay? So I just curled up some uh, paper towels, used some toilet paper, and then, you know, did the whole glue technique on it. And here it is. I've got it. You know, I, I put uh, hot glue on it, and I'm going to use this for the tongue. So I just inserted it into the mouth, glued it into the mouth, and I think that's just a fun little detail. I also decided it would be fun to give it like a little teeny tail. So I did the same thing. I just used a smaller piece instead of the tongue, you know, being so long. I used a smaller piece for the tail. And I just thought that would be a fun little uh, extra. So now that I got that, I'm going to spray paint it black. And uh, we'll hit the table and finish this up. All right, here's our beastie. Let's paint him up. So turn him around a little bit so you can see some of the detail. It really pops out there. You can see with the spray painted flat black that uh, you can see that detail that you couldn't see that was clear. So this guy is kind of like disguised as a boulder, right? So I'm kind of I'm going with a gray color, and I got a tan and a burnt si or a burnt sienna, and I kind of just to give it variations of color, right? And while it's wet, I'm just going to dab that on. So I just slop it on there. Not hard. And then I'm going to add some green here. It's kind of a, uh, like a uh, middle green. And just kind of blend it into the gray. Get a nice look there. And now I'm going to use a dark green on the moss. And paint the moss first with a dark green. I'm doing this all while it's wet. Just to blend it in. So easy to do. Then I'm going to wash it with a black. This is just black acrylic paint watered down. And you can see it really starts to pop up that detail of the critter. So, nice. Now I painted the, the uh, mouth. I got a cherry red. I'm using a couple pinks here. And I'm going to paint the pinks on while it's uh, still wet. So it kind of blends in, right? And you got the nice tongue lashing out there. Fun. Paint around the root rim of the mouth. Very cool. I'm going to put some black kind of in the back of the mouth to simulate like going into its gullet, right? Just while that's wet, I'm going to paint that in and blend it in. So our darker in the center and then lighter towards the edges. So just real easy to do. It's wet on wet. Fun. Now I got a light gray. Look at this. It's really popping that detail out. You can see the scaling I did on the body, all the detail with the hot glue gun. All that, that time you put on that really pays off as it pops out. And uh, just looking great. Just loving this beastie. Just really fun and unusual critter. And uh, putting some highlights on there. There we go, nice. Now I'm going to use a lighter green on the moss. And, you know, I kind of put it the darker green on there. And now this will kind of give it a highlight, right? So just using this kind of bright green. Very cool. I'm using metallic black for the eyes. And I like the uh, the metallic black because it has a bit of a sheen. Just craft acrylic paint. Uh, I'm going to paint bone uh, off-white on the teeth. And paint behind them too. And then I'm going to use a kind of golden brown to give them like a uh, dirty look. Kind of a worn look. And here I am using my uh, water-based uh, gloss to give it a gl inside the glossy mouth there, a slobbery mouth. Paint the tongue and the eyeballs. And there we go. Let's hit the table and take a look at this guy. So cool. I love it. Roderick is heading into the jungle. Hmm, let's see what I can find here. And then he hears a noise. <laughs> Uh-oh, something big is coming. Something large. 
Cracking trees. Uh oh, it smells you, Roderick. The Agna smells you. Better take cover. Oh, gosh. Uh oh. Uh-oh, it's found me. I better get out of here. Feet, don't fail me now. And announcing the award for Best Actor of the Year goes to... Roderick the Ranger! And, for Best Supporting Actor, the Agnar!